I was taking a shower this morning and I came to the realization that my body is smelling like corn chips. And then I realized halfway through the shower that there were pieces of corn chips falling out of my face. <laughs> tabletop. Over here you can look at this beautiful scene we have here. There's also some large birds with talons um, in the raptor family. We have we have some prey over here so uh, we'll try and avoid that at all costs. That's, that's all I got. Talk about the beer. I, I can't. You talk about the beer. Okay. Well we've made it to the top of tabletop. It's a beautiful little mountain range. It's actually quite a surprise. Um, some of the best snow and desert I've ever seen. Why am I holding my dog? And why did we name a Saison after this? Well, there are raptors in the air, some kind of a falcon, and they're swarming us. And at this point, this might be a better lunch than the little rodents that they're used to. The Saison, I'll happily say, or happily admit, we named it without ever being here and we were thoroughly embarrassed every day. But now that we're up here, it's funny how that coarseness of the water profile and the bitterness from the hops, real dry <laughs> beer, it actually fits this a lot. And it's a tabletop up here at the top, so it fits the beer, being that it's a table saison, as they would drink in the 1600s with, with their farm hands at dinner. So yeah, I think we've done something special. Oh, yeah! This is the man that... <laughs> yeah, I see the whole sandwich. Just yeah. cutting down on the carbs. Oh. You mean this? <laughs> <laughs> We're in survival mode. We're down to the last 10,000 calories for one night. Patrick bought a sandwich, and he's so proud of it. There are bugs flying everywhere. Dude, the screen is full of bugs right now. Yeah, it's full of light, too. I can not see. <laughs> oh, <tonight. laughs> well, we saw the Border Patrol, and they said, Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> and, uh, Hola. So now here we are, right at the base of Tabletop. We'll probably wake up really early, disoriented, not knowing what we're doing, and then uh, get to the top of that thing. So we'll see you then. Sounds good. Good morning, good sir. I can't even see you right now. I'm touching your face. We were waking up in the tabletop wilderness and it's pretty cold and there's birds and we're gonna go hike and adventure. It's pretty nice though. We're collecting spruce tips for a beer that we uh, believe is going to have some unique properties to it. Uh, the essential oils in these tips will come out just like the piney aroma of some of the hop varieties that we love and know. So, you know, stay tuned because uh, this is a very unique process and a lot of people will be very pleased with the end result. This is all for spruce tipping with Patrick. Even our schnauzer's helping. She's exhausted, she's been working all day. She doesn't seem very thrilled about this, but it's better than being eaten by a mountain lion. <laughs> <laughs> These are, it's very sprucey in here. What I have here is uh, my favorite little friend, little guy Ryan. That ride, it really holds 
protein even after a long hike and uh, I'm really excited about it because uh, you can see how it's really just kind of <laughs> sad face. Whew. Came from way down there. It's been quite a hike. It's gonna be real windy, but man, show the beauty of the treacherous hike. On days. <laughs> What'd you bring up with you? Ah, oh, we got some chapel for sunset. It's Pine Mount Wilderness down there. Unexplainable for beauty. Uh -oh. Well, hello. We're out here at the Cedar Bench Wilderness, and it's in the Prescott National Forest. We are excited to be here. It's hot. That's uh, why we're wearing mandals. He's got mandals, I got flannel. We're gonna live here for a little bit. So stay tuned, because you will not hear a thing from us ever again until tomorrow when we get back. It's a new Belgian brewing company and they're a little bigger than us. Do you like them? It's so scary because they make so much beer. Who's gonna drink it all? Maybe you. Raphael, Trois Dames, he's enjoying himself. Mm. I love it. Yes, all right. Belgian brewing slide, take one. That's why they put that I have your TPS report you were asking for. It's not made for our size. I even get stuck in that thing, man. Hey, Patrick. I brought you breakfast. No, I brought you breakfast. Uh, Bat. Uh, open your mouth. Come on, just open up. Through here? Through the bed. Can you eat that? Patrick? I'll leave it right here for you. coriander and fixing a back problem I've had for a while. This is a lot of jolting. Uh, there's some pain involved, but the coriander is getting crushed to a uh, pretty intense level. I'm in. <laughs> no, no more. Inside of a room, alone, shoving oranges in holes. 
bone holes to be exact. This is the Woolsey width, and you can see that we're dragging it through our wild lines, shoving oranges into this. It's an important thing, because it's an orange sour width, so if we didn't put the oranges, it would just be a sour width. Thank you. Pictures. He's not I'm putting on my bee it. suit to collect yeah. natural honey on the desert. Hey, Brian John? here is going to explain to you how we're going to do that. Right now, am I going to do that? You're explaining right now. You could have warned me. Well, no, it's instant. I just warned you. Oh. Hey, warning, Brian, you're about to explain what okay, we're doing. Okay, what was the question? We're really preparing. <laughs> we're, just taking, we're just taking honey from the bees. That's <laughs> pretty much it. <laughs> and, we're, and we're going into what? Into what? We're, yeah, we didn't get the tutorial. <laughs> In history, I'm inside of a moon suit so we can go collect moon rocks on top of Mount Moon. Why don't you come over here and hug me, Brett? Get over here, Brett. That was the worst. That was the worst interview ever. <laughs> we are collecting bees, and this is a protective suit. I have anaphylactic shock disorder. So if I get stung 7,000 times, I'll need 7,000 EpiPens. And apparently they only brought one. <laughs> Comb your beard. What is this tool called? Uh, this is a this is the uncapping knife. I usually use an electric one that heats up and just slices right through it. But the monks wouldn't do that. Yeah, the monks wouldn't do that. <laughs> so, Wilderness wouldn't do that. So I'm trying to uh, trying to get the technique down a little bit before I hand it over. Okay. But. Uh, yeah. So we're cutting off the caps. What is the cap essentially? So the cap, um, when the honey's, <clears throat> when the bees evaporate the honey out to the right moisture content that it'll keep, they put a wax cap over the top so it'll just stay sealed and good until they're ready to get to it. Um, if they don't evaporate it out enough, then they can run into problems with fermentation, which isn't a problem for you guys. You know, the bees will ferment a certain percentage of the honey. Great. And there are bees that are, the oldest bees in the hive, the, the, the guard bees, also act like bouncers. So if, if a particular bee gets too drunk off of the, the fermented nectar, they'll actually take them and beat them up and kick them out of the hive until they soak <laughs> Brian, the bee guy, what are we doing here? All right, so we went out last week and we collected all of the frames of raw honey. What we're gonna do today is separate the honey from the frames. The way we're gonna do that is by putting individual frames into the centrifuge and uh, hand crank it like this. Should spin the honey right out against the edge and it'll uh, drain into our tank. Would you call this the most efficient way? Uh, this is absolutely not the most efficient way. <laughs> this is an antique uh, hand crank honey separator. So this is all man This is how we do it. This is how we do it. <laughs> So uh, I would say that this is monastic lifestyle approved. Uh, living living by your hands, basically. Absolutely, effort living your by your hands. Awesome, exactly. This is using gravity and G-forces. Like NASA, right? Like, like NASCAR. Like NASCAR. Like NASCAR. It's like going around left turn at Talladega. Like this? Well, it's pretty entertaining. I mean, you just get this thing going, and you feel like you are really using kinetic energy. <laughs> Woo! Especially because this is going to be a Belgian quad, and to do that monastic style brewing, we thought it would be proper to use our hands on these machines that are kind of archaic. It's actually re very rewarding already. I'm very happy. How many hours have you put into this? Into this machine? Yeah. I don't use this machine. 
<laughs> Zero. I, I have two motorized machines that are three times this size. He's not the most. <laughs> <laughs> this thing already broke. My mind broke. Well, as you can see, uh, hand cranking. You know? It's a hand tool, right? <laughs> we were not getting a lot of efficiency, and we decided that we needed some power. You know, in the 1600s, they had the capability to have batteries. I don't know if they had them or not, but we'll go ahead and say they did. This thing just cranks it out. Look at the honey flying out there. This is what happens when you travel. Nothing. You wait in lines all the time. And it, it's really weird because you're like, I'm so excited. And then you wait. And here we are. Where are we, Fabric? I don't know. I think we're in outer space. <laughs> So, oh, London, England. Here's a proper beer. It's a proper beer. Oh, it's a proper beer. Just say something charming. Say something charming. Hi. This is a proper beer London. Okay, perfect. It's proper beer London. Camden. Cheerio. 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 That's really Tell me a, a, a saying about something with threes in it. No, I can't say that. I can't leave it like recorded. I'm not recording. I'm just putting a phone in your face. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> what is a what's a, if, a what is the craft oh, brewer industry in Brazil right now? <laughs> go ahead. A it's turd, growing. A turd of the size of America. <laughs> It grows three times. <laughs> a lot of trees are growing. I mean, if it doesn't grow in the third time, then go for it. <laughs> third time is... Uh, yeah, it's the like the key point, you know? Yeah. If you didn't go anywhere until the third time, just drop it. Tell go me for the next one. Tell me about your brewery. Uh, we're a small brewery. What's it called? Way Beer. Okay. And... Uh, we make, uh, for the Brazilian market, we make uh, U.S. Um, style beers, very happy. Um, we are starting to make some Brazilian, we are starting to use some Brazilian ingredients. And, uh, three of them? Three of them, <laughs> yeah. They work sometimes, sometimes they don't. It's been an honor and a pleasure this honor. week. Honor. Yes. Yeah. Wilderness TV. Love some Cosberg. <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> yeah, Daddy. not to video. It's an important right. human. I deliver beer to the people when they need it. It's like oh, Santa Claus. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's from <laughs>
Yes, that's correct.